Hello guys. Happy Monday. I'm sitting on my swing after work and I did a little ironing inside and thought, you know what? I'm ready for a break. <laughs> I'm going to come outside and, and try one of my bottles that I haven't had yet in a vintage that I haven't had yet. Um, it's going to be one of my Paso Robles wines, uh, of course, from the trip from November of last year and probably one of the most beautiful, spectacular wineries ever on the planet that I've been to so far, including Europe. It is Dow Wineries at the top of mountains in the Paso Robles area, California, and absolutely stunning, wonderful people. Uh, treated us very well and the wine is spectacular as well, which helps. <laughs> so I have tasted um, a previous vintage of this particular wine. It is called the Dow Eye of the Falcon Reserve. The one that I'm having today is a 2018. See the beautiful label? It has a beautiful, beautiful falcon embossed there in the front, all shiny and pretty. That's the only difference that I can see besides the actual vintage being a different year. This is the 2017, the previous bottle. So it's pretty, it looks very nice with the mountainside, uh, but it doesn't have the falcon. <laughs> so. So far without tasting it, that's the only difference. And I can't honestly say that I remember what I said about. I remember I loved it. I remember that I just adored it. Can't tell you exactly the tastings. I know it was good. Okay, this one is 14% alcohol and $75. Of course, I think I may have gotten it for 65, something like that, because I am a wine member, a wine club member. So this came in my shipment um, a few weeks ago, my spring shipment. Okay, it's very dark and luscious. Look at this. I love that color, just love that color. It was a nice sunshine day today. I can't seem to get away from the sun <laughs> glaring, but it feels nice. Tomorrow it's going to be 90, 90, 90, 90 degrees out here. So that'll be cool compared to what it's gonna be like in a month or two. So trying to enjoy these last days here with the weather nice. Okay, let's give it a swirl. Yeah, about six times or so. And you want to, I know I'm using a big glass because it's absolutely my favorite glass. I think it's a Syrah glass or a cat, who knows what the fuck, I like it, okay? It's a big ass glass and I like it. And you're supposed to pour to the widest part of your glass to get the most out of the aromas. Okay, let's see what we get here. You know that your wine is very, going to be very wonderful when it already has a nice aroma from let's say bosom level and you can already get the smell is coming into your your nostrils and filling it up and I already get graphite kind of kind of graphite okay I don't know why that comes to my mind but it does okay Ooh, raspberry and clay <gasps> And almost like a, oh shit, there was something that, that uh, 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 it's gone. <laughs> there was like a, I don't want to say Christmas candy because no, it's not like a Christmas sweet candy, cinnamony, maybe, I don't know, but there was something there. Hmm, Let's see if I can get it back. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how to pinpoint what it is that I get on the nose, but damn damn is good all right now we're gonna dive in for the flavor see what it's got going on oh god it's just so good
wow. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. <clears throat> Besides the neighbor cutting grass over in the next yard. I don't think that really um, compromised it in any way. I get a deep, deep, deep raspberry, like not a bright, happy raspberry. This on the end, like the fringe of the of the end, the, the the finish that you get. There's a little bit of a raspberry that's a little brighter, but before that, before that, it is like one of the shits that I like. That dark, dead fruit. You know the the earth kind of earthy i don't want to say too earthy because soil maybe but more like graphite stone and and <sighs> there is something that is giving it a sweetness no i'm not talking about like you know port or something like icky sweet more like how a cab sometimes will have um a sweetness to it but I would definitely not say it's a sweet wine. So no, don't misunderstand my uh, interpretation of this wine. It's by no means a sweet wine, but it has the elegance to combine a stone hiding under there, little bit of clay-ish, some type of candy and a dark, dark, deep, rich raspberry, plummy kind of almost. There is a little bit of a, almost mint on the finish. It's, it's, it's a, something that has to do with that candy flavor that's going on. And you know, I wish I could describe things better, but all I can say is this shit rocks, it rocks. It's so much rocks, okay? This is this. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay. I want to see what grapes these are without spilling my glass. <laughs> All right, let's see. I should have done this ahead of time, right? Oh, well, there you go. 75% Cabernet Sauvignon. So we're talking about that's where the sweetness come from. Duh. All right, and 25% Pretty Verdot. That's good, good. Good combination, very good. Love the new label. And I think this has a good couple of years on this yet to go. It's not like it has a punch. It doesn't punch you in the face. Um, it's not particularly high tannic, but it's also what I would, I would not consider this to be light <laughs> or, or smooth. It's more like it's silky, silky goodness. And um, I'm getting some other flavors going on here. Menthol? What the hell? Shit, I like this. The finish has a complete different direction, but it's not layered like pow, pow, pow. It's blended all together smoothly and just fabulous. All right, I'm gonna kick back on the swing a bit. Enjoy the neighbor's grass cutting, because it's summer. It might be spring to a lot of people in this uh, continent, but it's summer here already. All right. Oh man, that's good. Okay, you guys have a fabulous afternoon. Cheers.